Well, good afternoon. President Biden is about to take a very bad situation at the border, and he's going to make it worse. He seems to be surrendering to the most radical voices in his party in terms of immigration. Uh, he's planning to open the southern border uh, even wider than it is open right now. Uh, you know, because of uh, coronavirus, the Center for Disease Control used a, uh, an order that they could for public health called uh, Title 42 uh, to expel certain individuals who are trying to come into the country illegally. Uh, we have one good authority that uh, the White House is talking about eliminating this Title 42 and what we've been doing for the last year to keep coronavirus out of the country. And this is a time when there are increased uh, variants of coronavirus, uh, variants of which the most recent one is one that uh, those of us who've been vaccinated uh, may not, ha not have the kind of protection that we all believed that we had had. So today we're sending a letter to the president pointing out that every president has a, a responsibility to protect the safety and the security of the American people. 26 Republicans have signed on to the, leader in, to, to the letter, including uh, Leader McConnell. Uh, we're addressing in the letter the uh, concerns we have and the American people have about public health and safety, uh, about the crisis at the border from the standpoint of national security, as well as from the standpoint of the humanitarian crisis. I'm just going to read one paragraph from uh, this letter signed by 26 of us to the President of the United States. Ending this order will have a dire impact on the crisis already engulfing our southwestern border. We urge you in the strongest possible terms not to take this action. Immigration facilities are overwhelmed. Revoking the authority of officials to rapidly expel illegal migrants under Title 42 without a clear plan in place to handle the stress this population will place on the system and on border communities will further exacerbate the crisis at the southwestern border. Senator Capito.